My interpretation of Flying Girls is polarity, dealing with two aspects of, of your world. Um, in this case, they are stark contrasts in which Sim is a young person that lives this horrible life being trafficked around, being rented as, as property in essence, uh, sexual property. But at the same time, she has the fortitude to stay inside of her own mind and dream and go to these other worlds. I'm Sean Jones, Chair of Jazz Studies at the Peabody Conservatory. This collaboration is important for several reasons. It's the artist's charge to be influenced by other artists' work. Um, not just to do your own thing all the time, but to check out what's being said around you, um, to see what people in, in other genres of artistry are using to express what's going on in the world. It's about humanity. This particular piece, Flying Girls, is a scene from the story uh, where she wakes up on the moon and then she makes friends with shadows. So everything there is black and white, you know, if they so want. And um, they talk to birds, they talk to butterflies. Uh, it, it's just a way to make a little girl be a little girl. You know, it's very important and it's not something that happens very often where I'm from. Children are not allowed to be children long enough. And what Peju has done here is captured so many interesting layers of the human condition that I was compelled in my own art to challenge myself to try to capture that sonically. And so what that does for me is it takes me on a journey. It informs my music. It informs my interpretation of the world. And hopefully that when the two worlds combine, you see these images coupled with the sounds that you hear the band create, then you're able to go into a deeper um, understanding of what our collective energy is creating.